Hi and welcome back to another tutorial, this time about making templates. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, very important. Okay, so let's dive straight into this. What I've done here, I've got this audio track that's got my default uh, settings that I showed in the last tutorial. If you want to go back and look at that, how I did the, uh, how I saved default settings and default patch settings for the actual channel strip. Now let's uh, create a few auxiliary tracks. So if I go into the auxiliary channel strip here, create new auxiliary channel strip. And then we can just go control N and create some channel strips as so. Then uh, what we can do is say add some plugins, a limiter, and say my default EQ. So we've got a few plugins. If we want that to come each time that we start working, we can do anything. We can have loads of tracks already there or instruments already in there and then just save it as a template. So go here, save as template. And then we call this buses. Okay, so save that. Now I'm gonna open new from template. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this one here, close and don't save okay and here it'll open up our window that has all my templates in so let's go to buses choose there you've got all different options here as well that you can have time signatures and input and outputs and stuff like that and then you can choose and then it will just load up my template all ready to go and i do that all the time i have templates for mastering templates from for, for, for producing that I always start off from there. And uh, then you have, you know, your default patches that I showed you in the last tutorial. And that's really, really good for adding tracks and having plugins already on the tracks straight away. So yeah, useful tips for going fast, moving fast in production. So, which is always useful. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like subscribe and I will be back soon. Ciao.